be more consistent. Be more balanced. Be more disciplined, not through effort and will, but through the rhythm of your existence. Welcome to Build with Rob. It is your boy, Rob Deerdeck. Uh, just out here trying to push this machine mindset philosophy. Uh, just trying to get um, everyone in this world to know that, hey, there is a way to, to live your life in a high quality, harmonious way that is also hyper successful and high output, uh, but with lower effort. Lower effort. You can drive all aspects of your existence into sort of an effortless state if you design your life in such a way. And you look at all the ways that you can continue to design, automate, and optimize your life uh, to allow you to have more energy in all the different things that you do. That is the machine mindset that I preach about. And, and a lot of people um, you know, will all, always ask me, uh, if I can send them my document that I always talk about that I call the rhythm of existence, uh, which is essentially my operating system for my life, you know, and, and I send it to everybody and it's too overwhelming. Uh, it, it is not uh, l l what I like to say, simplicity on the far side of complexity. It's complexity front and center on complexity. Uh, it, it is not. Uh, very adaptable to to most people when you when they get it, and of course it's it's super personal to me, you know. And and really, really, I'd I'd, I'd love to share uh, in concept like how I developed it and sort of what inspired it and how you know without me sending you mine uh, and you getting overwhelmed like God, this guy is nuts. You know what I mean? Like who could possibly operate their life at this level? Uh, I'd, I'd love to, to share with you how I think it would be the easiest way for you to be thinking about sort of, um, what that rhythm of existence is and how the, the way that I've used it and, and looked at my life and how I look at my time and, and all aspects of my life and put it into this sort of rhythm that has allowed me to ultimately be more consistent and disciplined and, and find the balance that I've, I've found in my life. And I, and I think it's really a lot easier for people to adapt um, than I may make it sound from time to time. So, so I really want to share with you like really how I... What, what made me discover it and then ultimately some ideas on how you could think about how, how you could do it yourself, right? And, you know, initially, um, you know, I hired a, a, a group, uh, the great Chris Smith and, and Arrive Consulting uh, to help me, you know, create and develop the machine system. And, you know, he, he had walked me through this process of, of, you know, assessing everything and, and ultimately helping me create what is today the, the machine method. But, you know, one of the things inside there was the rhythm of company. And it was something I had never heard of before, but it was like incredible to me because it was like, man, like it breaks your company down into what happens on a daily basis, a weekly basis, uh, a monthly basis, a quarterly basis and a yearly basis. Right. And and, you know, he had it like in this beautiful like spreadsheet with like sort of here's all the things that your company's going to be doing and and. And this idea of rhythm of company, it's like, man, that is, man, it's, it's, it's this sort of beautiful sort of thing that you just know exists, right? All the holidays are in there. Um, you know, all the fi monthly financial meetings are in there. Your weekly stand-up meetings are in there. Like uh, the portfolio weekly meetings, it's like, well, the weekends are on the weekends, so there's nothing happening on weekends. Like, okay, like... Uh, the holidays are the holidays. Like, okay, at the end of the year, you got to do reviews, uh, mid-year reviews. Like, you begin to see, like, wow, like everything in the company actually works on this this cadence, right? And then, depending on what type of company you have, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the new line plan strategy, uh, you know, for the for the fall line. Like, all these different sort of things happen in these these time frames that make up the rhythm of your company and. And really, I thought to myself, like, man, that is, how come this doesn't exist for your life? 
you know, and and when I I originally looked at it, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, we were actually originally when we started uh, creating it, and well, I back up. I after we did it for, uh, and, and designed it for the Deer Deck machine, I said, man, I want to build like one of these for my life. Like this, if I began to look at my life like this, this is really what's going to allow me um, to to create this this much more. Um, you know, same rhythm and consistency in my life as, as I would with, uh, as a business would, you know, and then we set off and we created, um, as a separate project, the rhythm of Rob is what it was called initially, the roar. Um, and as I began to look at it integrated with like all of the time that I would spend um, in the deer deck machine, it was like, no, this is really like, like every aspect of my entire existence. That's what ultimately led to, to sort of the concept of the rhythm of existence, you know? And, and it's, 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 it's a really easy thing to begin to map out and, and create and develop, you know, and it's, it's the cornerstone of time management and ultimately energy management and, and, and really, um, the balance and harmony that I've created in my, in my life really started with essentially designing the flow of a year, you know, and, you know, cause you, there's, and, and it gets more detailed depending on the type of person you are, but you know, when you, you, you know, all of the birthdays of your family and your children, right? You, you know, all of the weekends, you know, um, uh, when you're going to work, you know, what time you have to be at work, you know, um, all of the different major sort of things that you're going to do throughout that year that you can begin to implement it. Right. And, and for me, you know, I, I try to look at the entire year um, at the end of every year and, and try to try to push through and plan as many big things as I can um, throughout the entire year. And for me, it's a a a it's gotten more detailed and more efficient over time. And, and I'm involved in a lot of things that I control and can create consistency inside that allows me to to create and, and build the rhythm uh, in a way that 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 um, has long term continuity, meaning that I am right now uh, planning the, the shoot schedule for the following year, right? When I shoot this show, uh, we have mapped out all the shows for the year, how many will show shoot and what days they will be shot on already. Right. And, and again, um, it gets put in there. Now you, you understand how much time you have left beyond them. And, and as you begin to add in these things that, that you're, you know, what we call in, in the system is constants, like the things that are going to happen always, it, you then begin to understand like how much time you actually have. Right. And, and when you begin to, to, to see sort of the flow of, of your time and where you spend your time, it, it really, it, this sort of rhythm of your year is the beginning of having a, a really good understanding of 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 how to how to build balance into your life by uh, by using uh, this sort of rhythm of your entire life in, in in a calendar sort of setup, right? Because so now you have these sort of major milestones throughout the year. Then you begin to like, oh, okay, uh, we could uh, you know kids aren't in school here and the beginning of the summer before birthdays like we could go on vacation here right like and then we kind of end up vacationing at the same times each year and then build the schedule around that and now now you begin to get into that sort of rhythm of of now you don't have to struggle or figure out where you do that uh you have these these bigger sort of milestones connected around uh, sort of holidays and other major occurrences that happen in both work and life that you could begin to build this rhythm in, right? And so 
then if you be you begin to unpack it from sort of okay here's how the year flows right now now you can begin to look at it from a quarterly and a monthly basis of what are what are all of the things that need to be done in in, in this sort of time frame and, and, and you can do this in different ways you know but putting it in a calendar is the absolute sort of easiest way um, because then it 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 blocks it out for the the entire year, you know, and and or however long you choose to do it to ultimately develop how to how to get into this because everybody your life has all these different needs, but you know what are the needs that you must do every single month. You know what I mean? And and to me, you know, it's it's different for every single person, but but so there's sort of these things you must do, you have to do. Then there's the want to do's, you know, and and now you're you're looking at your life through this 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 flow and this state of now you understand how much time you have left over for the want to do's after uh, you've you've planned the the rhythm in the year of all the have to do's, and now you begin to like look at it. Well, I'd like to. Um, you know, do date nights in my case, which turned into breakfast dates, which turned into the times that I pick up my kids to to then getting up even earlier. And, and now when I meditate, when I get in the gym, like I began to add all of these different pieces to the rhythm of my existence, right? Like, and all these things that I knew that I wanted to do by, by putting them in, planning them inside how my life flows, it, it began to give myself, it began to give me even more clarity on like when I should and shouldn't do things, right? Like, you know, I know that like, I can't go and, um, have a movie date with my wife if I'm going to shoot TV the next day. Right. Because I know that I, I don't want to stay out like like late and and I, I need to spend that time prepping in order to be prepared for the show the next day. It's like you begin to see how they all interconnect and and create basically the flow of your entire life. And then you begin to continually assess and adapt um, what is the most efficient way for that rhythm of your life to operate and how do you optimize it and make it better? And it, it's, it's this thing that you're continually changing and evolving in order to get more efficient and more balanced. But it starts first with recognizing that, hey, my life is in this sort of constant like state that's flowing, that's dictated by time. Uh, there are certain things that are always happening that aren't changing no matter what. And then there's other things that I get to add or take away uh, in order to make my life more fulfilling, more balanced, more disciplined, more healthy, whatever it may be. But that's how you get to design the rhythm of your existence. It, it's not nearly as complicated as I as I have made it myself, you know, my rhythm of existence is a full operating system because that rhythm of existence not only goes from my flow of time uh, and how every hour is used and then how it's tracked and accounted for and then optimized. And then each one of those hours has essentially systems that are cre- created to those that people operate those systems or they're part of a bigger system. And then it all interconnects to meet a uh, quantified output putting goals and all of this stuff like it is like a living machine as it relates to how I uh, have built it around myself uh, which has allowed me to evolve into this super high output uh, hyper successful high performance existence in a highly balanced harmonious way but anybody can achieve the same what I'd consider results in their lives by just designing the rhythm of their life and ultimately how their time flows and how they use it. Um, and, and it's and it's not incredibly hard. And then as you get better and better at it, that's where you, you get into that optimization. Because again, it's one of those things like, you know, I consider this, you know, 
you know, uh, you know, no different than any other system, right? It, it's it's essentially almost a time system, a unique way of of managing your time, but you're essentially managing your existence. So you're putting into account all of the things that you actually need to do um, that would be rewarding and fulfilling and the best for your health and all the different aspects um, that take time. It takes time. You've got to dedicate time to it. You've got to identify it. But if you have to constantly be like, oh, I got to work out. I got to work out because you, you didn't design the rhythm of your life in a way that allows you to work out and, and then allow that to be more consistent because you've designed it into your, your rhythm of your time and your existence, then that, that uh, discipline takes less effort because now it's more a way of life and a habit that it's turned into because you designed it into the rhythm of your life rather than just like, oh man, I haven't worked out for two weeks. I got to work out again. I'm I'm going to start working out after after work now and then and you know uh like that it, you're only going to get it to last for uh you know 10 days whatever whatever your normal um you know willed and new motivation last mine's like like 10 days and you know what's even worse you know what's even worse you know what's even worse than like not like when you when you've had enough's enough. I've got to get motivated. I got to take a step here and take it to the next level. I'm not gonna be fat no more and unhealthy. Today's the day, right? My my threshold throughout my life uh, for staying committed to that was like man, three weeks when I'm like killing it. You know what I mean? And 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 then the worst is when like like you you are like your mind tells you you're about to get fully committed. And, and your body doesn't do it and then your triggers kick in and then you 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 get through like four days and you and something happens your trigger hits you and you got a pizza you know and and to me that is is what happens to most people because we're really just letting life kind of like, pull us along in all of these different directions depending on what we need to do and what it is and so um, that we have to deal with right then and there uh, as opposed to designing our our life into a flow uh, that we can get better and better at living and essentially allows us to do all the things that we have to do and then uh, design in the things that we want to do so we get to do them on a more consistent basis, uh, more disciplined basis with less effort, right? That, that's the entire vision behind the, the rhythm of existence. And, and again, I, it's, it's not incredibly complex. It grows more complex over time as you get better and better at doing it. But in the beginning, it's really easy to map out because you can really look at your whole year and, and you know sort of all these major things uh, that you do have to do uh, no matter what, you know, and there's a the certain flow in a year that's never changing. Uh, and, and then you'll know it's 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 not like, you know, it's not like you could just. Uh, your free time is like, you know, all willy nilly and you could just choose to go anywhere at any time. Most of us, you know, even that control our schedules and have, um, you know, a lot of freedom in how we develop our life. You, you still make commitments and have certain aspects of, of your life that require uh, being consistent. And in order to get consistent, you got to design them. You know, it, it's like especially. You're someone who has a lot of freedom to 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 create their 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 own schedule and their own time, like like I do. Like if I if I don't stay disciplined with continually designing it and and optimizing it and evolving it and and making sure that I uh, I design my time in a way uh, that allows the the rhythm of my life to stay consistent and stay disciplined. Um, you know, it, it's dangerous because, you know, when, when you feel like you got too much free time, then you start procrastinating, then you didn't like, what am I even doing? And then like you, you know, you, you, oh, I, I ended up going out when I shouldn't have done that. Like you, it's, it's very easy, um, 
to just get to get lost in the whims of letting life and time pull you around um, when, when you have freedom in a schedule. You know, anything that that is part of your structure, uh, you know, then can trap you, right? If you are obligated to do a ton of different stuff as it relates to work and all these other sort of obligations of family and kids and all this stuff, like then you 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 never have the time. Right. Because your rhythm now is controlling you the way that you've designed it based off of those obligations of the, the things you have to do versus the things that you want to do now have never been designed in. So you don't get to do them and you're mad and you're mad. And, and you know, I, I, I hate I, I would never uh, put a friend on blast, but I, I know a friend who was in. And I know I've spoke on this before, uh, but it makes me laugh every time. But the idea of someone who is a world-class health expert and trainer who does not have time to work out is the funniest thing in the world to me. I, I, it never is not funny to me uh, when your profession, you are an elite uh, professional in the world of fitness and well-being Yet the way the rhythm of your life and your existence has been designed, that your your have to obligations um, has uh, peeled you away from being able to be uh, in the best shape of your life and ultimately be able to use the knowledge and the tools that you have uh, to for your own betterment and long term health because of the fact of the way that the cadence of your life has been developed, you know, and that is like a a shining example of it's not knowledge it's not understanding it's not desire it's not will it's design it's design if you do not take the time to really look at the, the cadence of how your whole life flows together and begin to uh, design in the things that that are meaningful to you and matter to you and dedicate the time to them uh, inside the rhythm of your life to go along with the things that you have to do, then you're never going to do them. And, and, and then you're going to what? You're going to be upset. You're going to be out of balance. Then you're going to try to overcorrect. And then uh, it's going to be put a ton of pressure on you and be unsustainable because rather than design it and grow into it and get into a flow and a rhythm and have it be the way of your life, you're trying to force change in um, rather than design, build, and grow into that change and have that change be part of your existence and your flow. So to everybody out there, who, who, who emails me and hits me up like, hey, can I get that rhythm of existence document? Uh, I'm telling you, you can create your very own in, in a simple way. And, and it's really sit down, um, get your calendar, and, and map out all the things that you have to do in a year. Uh, and, and then begin to look at uh, how much time you have left over and then begin to add in uh, all the things that you, you want to do and make sure that you do. And, it, and if you just do that, you just take an hour and put that in a calendar and throw that into time, it, you now are going to have the base for balance and the, and the beginning uh, of, of a truly disciplined, consistent, balanced life. You know, it really starts with a very simple exercise. And, and you can still leave a ton of free time in there uh, in, in order to give yourself flexibility. And, and you don't have to, it's not like, oh, I got to do this or nothing. You always got to have flexibility and be able to adapt depending on what's happening in your life. But that, that baseline rhythm and flow of your existence is yours to design. And if you design it, it is the first step. Uh, to living a, a harmonious, high-quality existence. All right, that's it for our show today. Appreciate you all. You know what we're trying to do out here. We're just trying to, just trying to live that that high life, you know. Uh, and, and again, I, I, I'm thankful for everybody that listens to this show. You know, I, I really feel like I'm, uh, when someone hits me up in the street and talks to, to me about the philosophy of the show, it's always, like, surprising to me. It's almost like I feel like I'm just shooting the show in a room by myself and nobody listens to it is almost like uh, basically how I feel. It's always like a shock to me when someone uh, starts to engage with me 
uh, in, in all things machine mindset. Uh, so if you see me in the streets, you know what I mean? You know, tell me you're living with that machine mindset and, and we're hugging. We're going to hug. That's, that's really what it's going to be. You know what I mean? At this point, at this point, we're a community. Um, so again, everything that we're doing, uh, you can, you can check it out at DerdickMachine.com, uh, wherever you listen or watch this podcast, like, and subscribe. Uh, appreciate all of you. I hope all of you right now are, are writing down a clear path to the future, a plan that you believe in to get there and that you're going to get out and run through a wall to make sure it happens until next time. See it, believe it, do it.